Ooh, take a look at this. The northern lights over the state of Florida. That's right. We didn't see it, but Florida saw it. They were clear. Solar storms created beautiful light displays all across the country. In fact, even in our region, we may be able to see those northern lights this weekend. Yeah, we've got to just be clear. That's all it is. And in Oklahoma, the rare geomagnetic storm was on full display last night. Vibrant pink and red colors lit up the sky. And a colorful display of the northern lights in Wisconsin. This was captured by a GoPro action camera. Look at that. The U.S. based Space Weather Prediction Center said there's an ongoing extreme geomagnetic storm. That's a level five out of five, and it's the first such classification since 2003. They don't get any higher than that. The ongoing storm is likely to continue through the weekend. That's incredible. That was conservative. Mm. That's incredible. I yeah. haven't seen that yet. Yeah. That made me feel really gypped. Yeah, really. <laughs> it, 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 I mean, it was over cities, too. It was over the bright lights of London, over the bright lights of Chicago. You didn't even have to get away from the lights right. to see it last night. You, you just had to get away from the clouds. <laughs> if you're in, if you're flying like over the North Pole, you said a five out of five for that mm -hmm. storm. Is that a five out of five if you're if you're lucky enough to see it in an airplane? Well, yeah, but you don't want. To, let me tell you this quick fact. My brother is a pilot for FedEx, and they do not want you flying over the pole because the atmosphere is thin and all that radiation can get into you. So that's one of the problems they have with these big storms: is the navigation equipment is affected, and they also don't want to put people at risk when they get this much radiation coming in. We're I hadn't thought about here. that part. I just no. thought about the electronics <laughs> part. Well, I don't want to be in a plane. With I mean, communications, right. uh, electronic grids. I mean, they have. Had a big one go off the one in 2003. It uh, fried a lot of the power grid in uh, South Africa and it blacked out all the uh, electricity in Sweden. Right. Wow. That was my other question so. to you. I was like, when should we get concerned? Well, we haven't heard anything that this one has caused yet, even though it was a pretty good one and a gorgeous one. And it's still ongoing. I'll explain why in just a minute. But you know what? How about if we take a look at what's going on for today first? I know you guys want to kind of roll into your weekend. Outside right now, we do have uh, sunshine. We cleared just a couple of hours after the Aurora Borealis would have been visible here. But we will enjoy our sunshine. That's our consolation prize, right? 56 degrees in Philadelphia. The winds are out of the north to 7 miles an hour. Here's what you need to know today. Sunny and cool out there to for today. We'll see some clouds building in late today and some showers tonight. And then it's going to be chilly and wet for Mother's Day. Only in the 50s. It'll be a very raw day. Back to the 70s next week. Uh, but we get more showers moving in next week as well. So we cleared out. We still have a few clouds hanging around up in Berks County and up into the Lehigh Valley, but lots of sunshine elsewhere. High pressure is delivering this nice little gift, but it will be short lived because here comes the next weather maker. In fact, this is about the only weather maker in the nation. Everything is clear west of this. And as it moves in, it brings us clouds that will probably linger tonight and prevent us from seeing the Aurora Borealis again. But we will enjoy the sunshine. About noontime, we start to see the clouds really thicken. I don't think we really see spotty showers this afternoon. I think it is this evening. We could see some spotty showers developing. And then overnight into early tomorrow morning, if you're headed out with mom for brunch, yeah, you're going to be maybe needing to carry the umbrella between 7 and 9, even 6 and 9. Uh, those showers continue on and off into the afternoon. And then finally, that front is out of here. We start Monday with a few clouds. The sky clears, everybody's happy, we have sunshine. It's just we would like to be clear for tonight, right? All right, so this entire oval moved a little bit further north uh, for tonight. It was way down across the Mississippi Valley, which is why people in Puerto Rico saw the uh, northern lights last night. If it's clear, we could possibly see it because you notice this is where the viewing line is, and it is just north of us. And last night it was north of a lot of those places that saw it. So if we are clear late tonight, we may be able to see those glorious lights. It, it isn't going to be an extreme geomagnetic storm going on tonight, but it will be a severe one. Both of those haven't been uh, haven't been issued. The watches on those since 2003 and 2005. So it's a pretty big deal. They upped the one yesterday to an extreme level. So here's how a geomagnetic storm forms. First, we get a solar flare off the off the uh, sun. We have a huge sunspot right now. It's called AR3664, but it has just been putting off X flares, which are the strongest flares. That heads toward Earth. Now, if it is a strong enough flare and it has some of this plasma, this uh, electro magnetic plasma 
it will eject out of the sun and head toward us on a solar wind, traveling at about a million miles an hour. That will interact with our atmosphere, especially at the poles where the atmosphere is thinnest, and all of that will start to enter the Earth's atmosphere. So how are we going to get all this going? Well, the electrons, they collide with the model molecules in our atmosphere. This is your science lesson for the day. And then the aurora colors are based on the type of molecules. Oxygen is red, nitrogen is blue. Um, you know, we get the different colors out there in the aurora based on all of that. And very quickly, look at this. This, when you see that kind of burst off, this is the sun. They've liked it out. Those are the CMEs, the coronal mass ejections coming off of the sun. We had seven in a row. Three of them co combined yesterday, and that's why we saw that beautiful display last night. Had another huge solar flare off of the sun today, and we have more of those mass ejections headed our way. So let's not lose hope. 66 today, maybe if the clouds clear tonight again. 58 tomorrow, though, for mom with rain. And then look at this. We clear out Monday, but more rain moves in Tuesday. And Wednesday. Did you guys get that? Did you get all the cliff notes there in that little science? Thing? Got it. I can't type fast enough. Can't, can't. That was a lot. Really? But <laughs> I'm glad you're excited for us. <laughs> I just want you to know the Earth, uh, the Sun basically just spit at the Earth and we got a corona and a, a, a beautiful uh, aurora borealis. There we go. Well, that one I understood. There you go. <laughs> Quite lovely. And there it comes. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy.